What is up, my fellow cigar smokers? All right, it's Friday, it's the 13th, and it's time for another cigar review. So for my Friday the 13th cigar review, I'm going to go back to the Diamond Crown sampler that we had. And this one right here is the Diamond Crown Maximus. This is the second to be produced by J.C. Newman Cigars in the Diamond Crown line. Beautiful band work on that thing. Look at that. That's definitely a collection band right there. Nice, beautiful, dark brown wrapper. Small veins. Visible seams. Nice firm pack. On the wrapper, just some earth. Maybe a light cocoa smell. Everything's real light. And then on the foot, of course, a lot of the same things, but heavier. There's some earth, some deep earth, some cocoa, maybe a little bit of hay, sweet hay. And um, there's a fruitiness, almost like, I don't know, a raisin or, or black cherry or something. It's a dark fruitiness. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get a toast in this thing, and I'll kind of give you some background on this cigar here. This cigar was created <clears throat> on the 110th anniversary of J.C. Newman Cigar Company. This uh, cigar was a collaboration between the Fuentes and Oliva cigar families. And this cigar, like I said, was, was blended for the 110th anniversary of J.C. Newman Cigar Company. Um, the binder and filler are Dominican, <clears throat> minimum five year aged all around on the tobaccos on these guys. All the Diamond Crown cigars have minimum four to five year aged uh, tobaccos all the way around. And then the wrapper is an Ecuadorian El Bajo Sun Grown. So that's the uh, breakdown of this cigar here. And got a little bit of a crack in the wrapper and so he's starting to swell. But we'll get past that point and hopefully it won't cause any more burn issues. Okay, so we're getting some deep dark earth and some coffee. Very little spice or pepper so far. Everything is dark starting off right off the bat. That's what I'm getting a lot of deep earth and coffee. So I'm going to let this thing warm up and we'll get a little bit further into it and see what we've got then. I'll hang around guys. Alright, so here we are deep into the first third of this Diamond Crown Maximus. I forgot to mention this is a 6x50 Toro. And um, burning uh, nice and straight, but as you can see there's a couple of little flakes on the ash there. Nothing that's fallen off or anything like that. Uh, flavor wise, dark, rich, leather, and espresso. That's basically all I'm getting. There's been no pepper, no spice, uh, very little sweetness. It's a medium bodied and flavored cigar so far and pretty mild strength. So that's, I mean, that may change as we get a little further into it, but that's all I've got. It's pretty good flavors, just deep, dark leather and some espresso. And that's really all I've got. So hang tight guys and I'll be right back. Okay. So here we are back again. Well past the halfway point here with the Diamond Crown Maximus. And so far, a very enjoyable cigar, guys. Uh, really, no changes in the flavor, but that's not a bad thing. It's been pretty consistent, but it's just that same deep, rich uh, leather. And then the wood, there's a wood that has come up in between that leather on the draw and the espresso on the finish. 
which started right after the first update and has continued all the way through. And that's basically the three main flavors, but it, they're really, really enjoyable. It's a very smooth stick so far. Um, in the last few minutes, the pepper, more of a tingle than flavor, uh, kicks up every once in a while. On the very, very finish before the next draw, but uh, not much else there. Uh, flavor and body, I, th I would say, have increased to a medium to full and still very little strength so far. So that's what I've got. It's a very enjoyable stick. We're going to get past band point, and then we're going to tell you finally what we have. Okay, so here we are down to the nub. It was Diamond Crown Maximus. Performs beautifully throughout the whole cigar. I forgot to mention Silly Me throughout the entire video about the draw. It was perfect. Absolutely no resistance, you know, not too loose, not too tight, which I like. Uh, it's been very smooth, dark, and rich throughout. The flavors really didn't change a heck of a lot. Uh, the espresso has kind of taken over. And the other two flavors, that woodiness and the leather, have kind of taken a back seat. One thing that I have noticed in at least the last half, and especially here in the last third, is the foot smoke. Not the amount of foot smoke, but the aroma. There's some really nice chocolatey notes that are coming off the foot smoke on this thing. That's just very, very enjoyable. Um, it's not a heavy foot smoker, but what smoke is there at this point is very aromatic. This, I would say... Is a fitting tribute to a 110th anniversary of the cigar company. Diamond Crown Cigars themselves, the whole line, is a top, top shelf cigar. So, I mean, these, and, and all of them are celebratory uh, cigars in some way. And I would call this a celebratory cigar. If you've got something to celebrate, this would be a stick for it. Box worthy? Yes. Readily affordable to everyone. Not really, but I am going to put this on my, I dig this and put it in my regular rotation when I can afford it list. So, me being a working stiff, I can't really afford a box of these or anything right now. I just, I got fortunate with this sampler and managed to get my hands on one and it's damn good. So, I'll be looking later on in the year when I get caught up on things and work stays busy and I have a few extra dollars. I'll be looking into getting, you know. Uh, maybe a couple of five packs or something. I, don't, I still don't know that I can afford a box of them. But this, in my humble opinion, is a very enjoyable cigar. This is going to go on one of my favorite cigar lists. And as you can see, minimal effort on the draw, nice smoke output, beautiful construction, beautiful burn, beautiful performance, beautiful flavors. Um, flavor and body. I would bump it up to a full at this point. Everything is just kind of deepened and darkened, but has just stayed the same. This is an enjoyable, consistent stick. Uh, not much strength to speak of, in my opinion. So for you uh, lighter weight smokers out there, this would be a good one. But like I said, this is a celebratory cigar. So if you've got something to celebrate, you should pick some of these up. As always, I'd like to take you, thank you guys for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped you make a decision on this cigar. I hope to see you guys again here pretty soon. Y'all take care. God bless. Smoke them if you got them. If you don't, get some. Bye, y'all.